Previously on Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. But also I wanted to say, I can't remember if it's Voltorb or Electrode, but one of them basically, like, it's the structure of Giovanni's face. And I wanted to say that the first time we encountered one, but we hadn't seen Giovanni. Also, dude, what's up with your hairline? Like, it literally, it's just like, I'm going to slightly sponsor the McDonald's logo. Just like, but a five-year-old made it. Because it's it's not like curved. It's pointed. Does that just save like on space? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe Giovanni's hairline is low poly. <laughs> Hi, hey, and all those other greetings by adventures. Welcome back to Spade Gals Productions Game Boxing Channel with me, Jake Spins, who's also from Spade Gals Origin with Girl of Cyclones, Quinn Crow, Farley, and vlogs as well as our videos. Yeah, I put on the jacket because that's what I do in these videos, and oh my gosh, it is so warm in my room. I mean, granted, I also always wear a blanket, so I'm just going to take off the blanket, I guess, and hopefully I cool down. Also, you might see me doing doing this a lot because I haven't worn this shirt a lot, and um, I don't think, I don't like things that are too close to my neck, so I tend to pull them down. So, I apologize if I tend to do that a lot in this video. But, um, you might be like, Spins, why are you in your room? And then other people might be like, you've covered this so many times. But, um, as you probably know, we've been rearranging. So, here we are right now. I mean, we finished in the family room. But, I kind of also wanted to test out what it was like to do that in this room. But also get some of this background in here for you guys because you don't normally get to see this part of my room you know you'd see the other wall but not not this part so hopefully you guys like the the background so anyway i have no idea what's going to happen this episode because as the previous thing probably showed and all that it was like 40 minute episode that that one was very long. The one before it was very short, I'm pretty sure. So, here we are. Back in Team Rocket's lair. Because we're actually done fighting everything. But I'm kind of curious. What happens if we talk to, uh, Archer? Cubone seems to have gone home on its own. Why don't you get out of here, too? And try to figure out how to use that sylph scope. Or something. He's so salty. You're salty. Ooh, someone's salty. Ha ha. Alright, though. Let's look really quickly at this. Because I didn't even notice this before. Can we, can we check their evil plans? Or their chair? Question mark? Was I accidentally? Oh, that's why. I was like, clicking on this makes you turn to the chair. No, I was holding the controller like this. <laughs> My god. I just keep doing it. What is that even a painting of? Oh, the other one's a Persian, but I'm not sure what Pokemon that one is over there. Anyway, though, let's go all the way back through this whole entire labyrinth. To escape, but actually we don't have to do that because we have an elevator. Take me to Well, we were already taken to your later. So take me to the exit. <laughs> I can go home now. I am a little curious though, what what if we talk to the beautiful spy? Does she say any anything? Okay. I mean I, I won't I won't I mean wouldn't that be counterproductive for me to tell people that you're a spy? Don't tell her that I told you. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like the... Yeah, that's the only thing that's different is Team Rocket's just not here anymore. Alright, well that's done. Oh, you're still... You're still out of... Dude. How much hearing loss do you have that you didn't even notice? Because the prompt that it gave you was, it's loud over here. Alright, I want to heal and then I want to go for that because I know what that is. 
And that's exciting because that means we can get some stuff that we haven't been able to get in quite a while. I say that like we've gotten it before, you know? Like, it's like, I haven't gotten Froyo in a while, so this item will help us get more Froyo in my life. But no, that's, that's not at all what's happening. It might be like, why are you looking this way instead of, like, towards the camera? Well, last time... I set it up where basically it looked like I was looking at the camera when I was looking at the TV and it wasn't off by that much. But how it is right now, it's just slightly off. So like looking towards the camera is this, but looking towards the TV is, is this. And like that slight, like this is the, the laptop. It's great, isn't it? Because I needed to explain all of that. Good job, Spins. I think you're literally the only guy who has a difference. I have to do this again. Oh, you're curious, aren't you? You're curious about me and my machine? Do you want to know the details? <laughs> of course I would accidentally say no when hitting the controller like that. I'm using the palm of my hand. Good thing it wasn't important, like, oh, are you ready to fight the final boss? And I'd be like, no. I mean, that, that wouldn't be. <laughs> Do you want this free money? No. <laughs> okay, if you insist, this machine is a great vehicle that allows you to fly in the sky. It's a marvelous invention, if I do say so myself. It's not an ex extravagant. <laughs> like, okay. To say that it is a secret technique. Even though I worked really hard on this, nobody wants it. Oh, sad. Yes, I will. I will use it. It's called Skydash. I'm sorry. I can't do that anymore and press the button. Of course Evie wants to. Do you, do you have any uh, any paw controls? I love how I did this for paw control. That's just your control. Will, will it steer with its mouth? Oh, this is going to be cute. It's going to be really adorable. Oh, Okay. I meant actually riding it, but, you know, that's fine. So do we actually need to fly anywhere? I mean, there's places that I want to. Okay. You can have this machine to be sure. So be sure to enjoy the trips to the sky. Okay, that's great. So. I'm guessing I have to go through the menu. Because <laughs> that, that would make sense. That would make a lot of sense, actually. But the question... All of our other secret techniques we haven't really need to worry about. Do I just have to use the map and... Can I, can I just fly wherever, you know? I know there... I forgot where the one area was that I wanted to go to. I think it was around, like, here-ish. Like, Viridian Forest... Okay, so yeah, you can still only fly to cities. You can't fly to actual routes. That's fine. Is there like any different animation or do you just plop back down? Oh, there's not even a plop back down animation. I guess that's fine. Like it's not a big deal because you have to go all the way up. Either way though, we do have a few things like cutting down trees, which should I start from the beginning? Maybe. But, um, for right now, I'm not really too, too worried about. Wait, that's all that was? That. There was no point. Why was that there? Like, there wasn't. Oh, my God. Maybe there was an item there before or something. I have. But uh, we can go through here now. This is basically like the first area of the game. And we get to explore it. Yay. I mean, I guess that's nice that there's one over there. But there's one specific area that I had wanted to 
check out. But I guess I guess this works too. That's probably gonna be a card. Like, oh, that's a T. If only I had to T. But yeah, I'm probably just going to cut through the parts that are important. I mean, granted, I don't think I've been through here, so. People that can use secret techniques are so cool, aren't they? Can you use them? She, she can. <laughs> CP stands for combat power. Whoa, combat! I have a feeling like we've probably read that before, because those seemed very, very general. Wait, wait, that's all this area was for. Wow, I feel like some some kind of like sitcom laugh track is going. Not that I have sitcom laugh track audio to edit in, so I just made my life that much harder. But um oh. That's something I didn't notice. So what the heck is... Oh, that's just a Weedle. <laughs> like, that that looks like something I haven't seen. No, it's, it's, a, it's a Weedle. We do have a few Pokemon to, to go and get, though. But as I said, I'll just cut to the important stuff. Oh, I don't think I've been back here yet. The secrets of space. The mysteries of Earth. There are so many things about which we know so little. But that should sh spur us to study harder. Not throw on the towel. We have two fossils of rare prehistoric Pokemon on exhibit. Shh! Listen! I need to share this... A secret with someone. I think that this chunk of amber contains Pokemon DNA! It would... It would be... A shattering scientific breakthrough if Pokemon could be... Restructed from it. But my colleagues just ignore what I have to say. So I have a favor to ask. I want you to get this examined at a Pokemon lab somewhere. I think I know where we could probably get that examined. Oh, and our, our other fossil, too. That would make sense. You can't sneak in the back way. Nice try, kid, but no. Oh, whatever. Do you know what Amber is? Amber is actually sap. That gooey stuff that oozes from tree. Oh. Alright. Did not know that. The ancient sap <laughs> fossilized over time to become rock hard amber. <laughs> so, so you're telling me that one of the many precious gemstones that we hold dear to our hearts is actually just tree sap. All right, fair enough. Oh, there's a fence there. Um, but what I'm looking for right now, I think we don't know if we have the Bulbasaur, but I need to find the Charmander and the Squirtle. There we go. Here's the Charmander, finally. Jeez, we're going to grab him and then I'm going to have to make a different cut and uh, come back. We're not ending the episode. That would be ridiculous. We're only like 10 minutes and despite me having only recorded for like 20 minutes. Here's Charmander. We finally own him. The flame at the tip of its tail makes a sound as it burns. You can only hear it in quiet places. If it extinguishes, it will die. That also goes for the rest of the Charmander family. Yay. Great. Great.
great job, Game Freak, on making that depressing. <laughs> oh, and a little item, too. I forgot about this guy because he kind of blocks you from doing that. Unless you do it right. TM Thunderwave. Okay, well, that'll give Paralysis. So that's pretty decent. I'll take it. Okay, guys. So after getting the Charmander, I decided... Let's jump back over to Lavender Town to finish up this whole entire quest. And I thought that maybe the Amber would be, you know, helpful. Well, not helpful, but in that one area where Charmander was, I'd be able to go to that Pokemon collector guy. And yeah, that, that wasn't the answer. I'm not sure about where the Squirtle is, so I'll have to actually look back to see, but I really didn't look that hard, to be honest. So I just came back here. Anyway, though. So that's Cubone's mom. That's right. Team Rocket keeps on going after Marowak, so it can sell those skulls they were wearing for profit. I think Cubone is still looking for its mother, even though she's gone. I just can't forgive that Team Rocket. Me neither. I saw Cubone heading into the tower a little while ago, too. I'll go look for it. And I'll keep an eye out for that Mr. Fuji, too. The one who's been missing. Thank you, and be careful. That's so sad that the Pokemon's just like, its mom's gone and still looking for it. But also, question, does that mean if they take the skull, does that mean that the Pokemon dies? I mean, I doubt it, but like, it also seems like a big effort to, you know, kill the Pokemon and then take the skull. I mean, that also seems like a very jerk move, so that leads me to believe that they're taking the skull. Because, I, I don't know, it's just sad either way. I r really don't like ghosts, but I've got to do this. Nah, Phoenix, don't worry about it, I'm here. Ah, Ivory, nice timing. You caught most of that, right? What'd you say? You wanna come with me? I was going in anyway. Th thanks, pal. It'll be a big relief to have you. I'll just let you lead the way, okay? You know, I thought you were gonna be all like... You know, at first I was like, oh, he's gonna be like, can, can you go in for me? And then I was like, that's, that's nice. He wants to go with. He just wants somebody with him. That's that's really sweet. And then he's like, you lead the way. Yeah, I have a feeling Felix might be staying outside. We're being tricked here. And I can't prove it. But hey, I mean, if he ends up being behind us at some point, I guess it's fine. Also, at some point when the ghosts come, maybe I have to take out the sylphs. I'm hoping I can use them on the small ghosts. Because what I'm thinking is that you can use that to then catch ghost-type Pokemon. Because that would make sense to me. Oh, there he is. Well, that's nice. Urgh, do you think there really are ghosts in here? Plenty of them. Huh? Avery, what's that? A true form of ghosts. I did not realize Haunter was so giant. Whoa! That's crazy! Those ghosts were actually Pokemon?
literally the first cutscene that is shown in Pokemon is them fighting, is a ghost type fighting an arena. How do you not know about ghost types? It's a Pokemon Simta- Why would they not be ghost types? Whatever, Phoenix. You're ridiculous. <laughs> Wait, they're gone? Oh, but I was gonna- I was gonna catch that on to her. You know what? I still need Ghastly, though. Come here. Come here. Ghastly! I mean, it doesn't have hands, but I think that's what it says. I mean, sure, we've seen a lot of Ghastly in here. But, to be, to be fair, we haven't got one yet. So, hopefully we can get that counter ready. Honestly, I'm going to have to go back a few episodes. All right, and let's go. Oh, <laughs> I was like, no, I'm going to miss it because it moved. I only missed the circle, but I did not miss it. That's unfortunate. Okay, Ghastly, don't make me give you fruit. I mean, you probably want me to give you berries. Berries aren't technically fruit, though, so... You know, there's that. Oh, I just poked his eye. Sorry about your, your eye, mate. I mean, I don't know how I can't hit you in the eye when you're basically just a cannonball. Oh, just a graze. That's fine. I didn't, I didn't really throw it far enough to really get it into the center anyway. And I'm assuming getting it... Yikes! That's Screech, though. Well, if you didn't have to trade to get it to its last evolution, that gives me a reason not to use Ghastly. Ghastly! Female, the ghost and poison type being the gas Pokemon. Said to appear in discreet... Descript... Deserted buildings. This isn't deserted, though, but okay. It has no real shape, as it appears to be made of gas. Yeah, um, unfortunate Pokemon fact, and I'm really considering not mentioning this, but this is something that happened. Inside of Pokemon Go, you know, it, um, if you don't know how Pokemon Go works, basically, it will generate Pokemon based on locations, and you can call to make it not generate Pokemon in those locations. Some of these locations tend to be monuments, or historical places, or places that maybe shouldn't be, such as, uh, camps. Like, my brother had to, uh, had an issue with because of where he works. And also, as I said, monuments or memorial areas. They especially would appear inside of places that were fairly popular to visit. Or, since memorials, a lot of people go there, they would pop up there. One of the places that Pokemon would appear was the Holocaust Monument. And I have no idea how this mistake happened. But guest, guest type Pokemon were in the Holocaust Monument to catch. It's bad enough that Pokemon are catchable, but that makes it so much worse. And this is a part of a Pokemon fact, a Pokemon mishap, and just downright fail. It's not Game Freak's fault, it's Niantix because they make Pokemon Go, but it's just unfortunate. And again, I was very much considering not mentioning it, but... It is something that I felt is definitely worth mentioning. Anyway, though, let's try to catch more ghost-type Pokemon. Dude, could you, could you not? Oh my god. Dude! Dude, whoa! 
Why? He brought his brother! No! <laughs> Please, what are you doing? I'm just trying to avoid you. If you're a haunter, sure, I'll catch you, but... Your haunter friend, your giant haunt friend, kind of left. Maybe that big one that was blocking the way. No, no, I'm being silly. That would not be that Pokemon. Okay, is it gonna... There, there are, like, significantly less Pokemon that are appearing. That's a little annoying and a little weird. You'd think with, like, that healing thing in the center, we'd be fine, but... No. Alright, well, there's another... I remember when I thought that was a spot that got rid of, like, all of the ghosts. And then I realized, oh, wait a minute. That's, that's heal. Watch, like, the only thing that can spawn in here is going to be ghastly. And I'm going to be like, are you kidding me? But it's, it's fine. It's okay. Oh, hey, you swift Pokemon that's also huge. I'm not going to deal with you right now. Fine for experience. We don't really have many other play ways to get experience, so might as well use it on catching some Pokemon. I was expecting that to be the, the excellent. That's the second reason why I did this. It's not much experience, but it's some. So, you know. Again, the Shriek. Not having it. But yeah, that, that wasn't that much. But that was decent enough, you know. And a catch combo. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, another Ghastly and... Oh, come on! There was finally a Pokemon that I needed! Rude. Be gone. Look at the twisting of the camera, though. That's That's very cool. Be gone, intruders! I mean, I have the silk scope anyway. Gah! This one's even bigger than the last! You've reused the thing! The thing you used last time! Well, shouldn't have already worked, because on other floors it was fine, but okay. My third eye is opening. And it flashes thee. Oh, wow. That's what I figured, but... Wow, thanks for... I mean, I'm not sure if this is really sweet or just even more sad. It's probably going to take us all the way to the beginning. Like, I had, I had a Pokemon that I wanted to catch. This guy interrupted me. Still, it's sad, though. Oh, come on! Why do, why do you got to do that? Also, it's still... If its skull is taken... Why does it still have it... As ghosts? It's kind of kind of weird. I mean, that's not... This isn't the time to question this. But I am. The true form of the ghost was... The restless spirit of Cubone's mother. The mother's spirit was calmed, returning to its kind and gentle nature. It departed to the afterlife and disappeared. Oh. Maybe that wasn't Phoenix Pokemon. Okay, well, I thought it was. I'm sorry. Cubone, you... You just came here because you wanted to see your mom again, huh? Phoenix? I think that one was pretty obvious, dude. Not a brain scratcher. Sorry for thinking your mom was scary, Cubone. Avery, I, I don't want to leave Cubone alone like this. I'm going to go take it home. Oh, if there's someone named Fuji upstairs, do you think you could see him home too? <laughs> uh, 
I love how OK is capitalized. You'd think your would be. I've got this, yeah. Are you not scared at all, Avery? Man, you're full of confidence, pal. You definitely seem depend dependable. What? You rescued Cubone from Team Rocket? When did you go and get that strong? Right. Well then, guess I'll leave this one up to you, Avery. Come on, Cubone. I love how that's how they spell Q, though. But the other Pokemon is... Oh. Oh, now that's just sad. Now that the mother is gone, we can catch Cubone here. That's... That's so sad. Not even the excellent makes me happy. That's just sad. I'm catching it because I don't know if I have one yet. But, like... My heart... I can't. Don't do that. I mean, I think we just got two tough candy, which is nice. Okay, we didn't have Cubone. Wait, no, we did. Oh. I'm a derp. 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 Okay, and yep. Just like it said, we got two tough candy from that. So it looks like you can get some candy from uh from catching stuff so that's cool wow for something that's in plain sight that's pretty good i mean you can very easily pass it up but uh if you were i mean is anybody really gonna speed run this game though let's be honest maybe maybe not what the heck okay well this is random we we literally just fought you Step right there. We'll be going first. With that specter out of the way, we can finally get to the top. You're the old geezer they call Mr. Fuji, right? You're going to be repeating your Pokemon research for the glory of Team Rocket. Oh no, he lost his Pokemon though. Leave him be. He's mourning. Ignore us. All you like. We're used to it. We won't take no for an answer. You'll help the boss whether you want to or not. Excuse me? Gramps here thinks he can resist, so we're setting him straight. You'd better disappear, twerp, or be prepared. Oh, that's James. James isn't allowed to duck anymore. Why are we fighting them again? It's, uh, it's the question I exactly had with with Phoenix. We fought him so many times. It was freaking ridiculous. Oh my gosh, we're so low leveled. Yeah, last time we just got like completely rocked. So, I mean, would it be a smart thing to choose Evoy? Yes. However, I'm not going to do that. I also just realized all of my Pokemon moves and decisions are literally locked well, they're, they're behind the switch. So I can't really even see them. And I'm changing the stump because last time didn't go so well for ball picks. But also because Beedrill is going to have a little more of a resistance. Just okay. Um, unfortunately, though, I think that our poison friend is also. Yeah. 
Ground and Psychic. That's that's what we need. So does poison affect them? Yeah, poison's also on that list. Bug's not though. I mean, it's not going to do that much damage, but it's not on there. So I just gotta hope we don't get like destroyed by the one move. Oh, you're gonna crunch. You're a jerk. <sighs> they didn't even attack him like at all the last time. Drill. Well, Roxy was doing okay. Apparently they learned from the last time and they got some new moves, but alright. Not that it's going to, uh, to matter all that much, but I guess we'll use focus energy. And I, I literally have three different, like, attack moves and they're all just like, mm, nah, this is a bad choice. This, uh, this isn't gonna work. And I just kind of want to take out Weezing right now. Because he's the one being a complete pain in the butt. Oh, um, of course, you're going to attack him because he's almost leveled up. And you kill him. That's, that's great. Thanks, man. Thanks. You're helpful. You're extremely helpful. The only, the only person who isn't completely gone is... Well, picks other than you, boy. Thanks, guys. Thanks for that. Well, I guess we're gonna have to use Ice Beam. Granted, Evoy is going to be definitely faster. So we're gonna take out Weezing, and then Ice Beam is gonna go on to Arvok. I almost called him Arvok. <laughs> is that a dog? <laughs> I feel like that's a dog for some reason. Probably not, but I feel like it is. Oh my gosh, and look at the amount of experience I got for that. Dang, I'm gonna... Oh my god. This game. I hate this game so much. God, I know they're underleveled. I get it. But, like, there's no other way to level them up. Like, this is stupid. Should I pick the bird? Probably. Man, I I cannot. I, I, I can't. Maybe I should have just tried to put one to sleep and then go for it that way. Why do I even bother? Like, seriously, why? And I don't want to use the Ice Stone on Volpix too early, but we do have it for when we want to evolve it. Yeah, you trying that? No. Nah. You avoided the... <sighs> Not even my support Pokemon is going to be helpful. Isn't there, like, some kind of, like, a gym? You know, I know there's a the daycare center you can put your Pokemon at. But, like, these are people on my team. Why you gotta do that? Also, why couldn't you have just done that on my rock and see I killed it? You know, that would have been nice. Yeah. Drake usually does wrap people. You know? Spits, spits those wraps. There's a reference to the other Drake because he's a rapper <sighs> I'm sorry it was a bad joke <sighs> my gosh I just don't want to fight Team Rocket again like what's the point why like what is the exact reason that we would be fighting them right away so quickly I just <sighs> 
Like, we literally fought them two battles ago. That's what's really catching me off guard. Were we supposed to go to the gym first? Maybe. You know what? Maybe the gym is actually not as high of a level. We're not supposed to have gone here just yet. Because if not, then we're going to be screwed at the gym. Like, what the heck? Ugh, seriously? Again? Looks like Operation Stealthy Kidnap Fuji is a bust then. Don't you think I knew that? It'll be fine. We just have to help out with the takeover of Silphco and Saffron. Yeah, well... Thanks. Alright, Fuji. How you doing, bud? Oh. He didn't look how I thought he would. It's not a bad thing. I, I just thought he'd look a bit different. Oh. And who might you be? You came to save me from Team Rocket? Thanks, but... I didn't even notice they were here. I was too busy trying to calm the spirit of Mer- Why you gotta do this to my heart? Game! Why you gotta do that? Oh, the feels. Oh my god, the feels. Why? Oh, no. I knew it was gonna be that, too. I knew exactly. I was like, he's gonna be mourning for Marowak, and he's gonna be trying to calm him. Well, maybe not Coleman, but I was like, he's definitely going to be Morning Marowak. And I didn't say it, but I... Game, why? I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home. It's the Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. Okay. Well, I mean, we have... Oh, okay. I was I was going to try to catch the other Pokemon, Mr. Fuji, but okay. Or end the episode, because... It's already been 30 minutes at this point. <sighs> so, Ivory. Your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Yeah, that's what I was kind of trying to do, Mr. Fuji. <laughs> With, without deep love for Pokemon... It will be hard to complete such a task. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. Well, thank you. I mean, it's it's kind. Frustrating, but kind. Upon hearing the Pokey Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it if you ever find a sleeping Pokemon. Well, you are welcome. Well, we already have that quest done, which is which is nice. But, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure we still have another Pokemon that we can catch that we haven't caught yet. And we would have, but we got spat out into a cutscene. On the other side, though, we don't actually have to go through to the Pokemon Center, so that's nice. Alright guys, I will meet you at the point where we are going to hopefully catch it. Oh! Well, I was literally about to use a lure. And then this guy showed up. It's Hunter. Yep, the evolution of Ghastly. Technically, we don't really need to do this. We could just level up our Ghastly, but since we're not going to use it... Rude Hunter... Rude, but yo, your rudeness just gave me an excellent. So, don't make me feed you. That's not a threat. I will give you food. Granted, that's not the best threat, but I will give you food. Also, what annoys me is that I got an excellent, and that would have been grade A experience. I don't have that many Ultra Balls, so... I'll give you a P-Nap, Barry. 
Not that it helped all that much. Would you get over here? Oh my god, I don't have that many Pokeballs. Just center yourself, you jerk. Let me hit you with this. He centered himself, and then I threw it very far away from him. Yeah, as he's doing that, now could you please go into the Pokemon? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. What is a Smart Candy L? Like, Smart Candy Large. I don't know what that means. Also, I'm probably going to be catching a few Pokemon to try to, uh, to level up my own. Because, uh, it's kind of an issue. Outrage, a dragon-type move? Beedrill learns dragon-type moves. That's crazy. The Pokemon rampages and attacks for two of three turns. It then becomes confused. Well, you know what? I'm sorry, but Pin Missile is freaking useless. Can it be helpful? Yes, but even on times when it's super effective, it has been useless. So what I'm thinking of doing is Focus Energy, Outrage. And there we go. That's that's just a good setup. Now we have caught, caught a Hunter before in the trading stuff. You guys don't know about that but i guess i'm gonna have to show you guys the pokedex all right and now that that's done i believe that we've caught all the pokemon that we need to inside of here i don't know if that's actually true or not but as far as i know it is, and we've kind of gone for a long time, and I don't actually know the full length of this video. So, make sure to hit that like button, share this out with everybody known love, brother, mother, sister, father, iguana, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Keep it safe. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more from this channel, make sure to go to the left of the screen for subscribing and subscribing to my other channel and go to the right of the screen to check other videos. All right, see you guys later. Bye.